Okay, kids, here we go. I'm Nemo Toadstool, and this is Nemo Toadstool Reacts to Stuff, the show where I react to stuff. And by stuff, I mean music videos, of course. And I'm so happy because it's Monday, and you know what that means. Mondays are made for metal. So let's get right into it. Wallflower by Ginger. Ooh, I've only recently discovered Ginger, and I have to say they're quickly becoming one of my new favorites. Uh, Tatiana Schmelich's vocals range from hauntingly beautiful to downright frightening, and I love the roller coaster that each song takes me on. So I'm super excited to see what we're getting into today with Wallflower. Let's go ahead and cue up the video. Fire it up. Hmm. Okay, the the black and white with the uh the pops of red standing out. That always seems important to me, uh, when that technique's used in videos and movies. Um I know that in excuse me, in Japanese culture, uh, red symbolizes peace and prosperity, I believe. Yeah peace and prosperity, and uh, I, I believe that there's a similar uh, connotation of the color red in Ukrainian culture, but I'll have to look that up uh, and make sure, but it seems like that's significant here. Running away from with that box. There's wolves. I love her clean vocals um, and how they play around the melody of the music. It's not straightforward. Uh, the the melody and her vocal line are weaving in and out uh, a little a little ahead, a little behind, to create this sense of interest. Okay, she pricks her finger. And then we go back to this... This tension uh, between the pictures on the walls. And at the same time, I'm noticing that the use of, of dissonance uh, in the song melody is creating more tension as the song goes along. Well done. Okay, so I'm wondering if the if the red is symbolizing safety here. I know I keep coming back to that, but uh, color symbolism of art major in college. Come on, uh, color symbolism fascinates me, and again, I think it's so important in communicating the message, uh, even uh, 
as important as the words of the music themselves. Mm, okay. Wow, yeah, uh, the the dissonant sound, it, it's almost grating in a hauntingly beautiful way. Uh, it's amazing how uh, Tadiana is able to do that and still carry that clean voice uh, to really felt those lines. And I have a feeling that uh, that's just the beginning for, uh, for this song. I want to know what's in the dang box. Huh. Okay. So, uh, it seems like we maybe went into a, like a, a memory or something here. There's so much of symbolism of serenity in where she is in this in this space that she calls hers, um, and yet there's so much angst within that. I think that's fascinating because it's you know I can certainly relate and you know going into the lyrics of. of of climbing into your shell to lick your wounds again it's you know sometimes your your safe place your isolation becomes a prison Ooh. people are pounding on the door to get in yeah I know. I gotta go home. My batteries are low. Yeah. Good Lord. If you're an introvert, you know how this is. You can totally relate to this. I'm sure. I can. I totally get it. Whew. Ooh, her, her harsh vocals even are so well supported. It's absolutely amazing that she's able to sustain, uh, you know, both these wonderfully powerful cleans and then these harsh vocals that just belt and just <laughs> ah, I love it. That symbolism is absolutely powerful.
so it was almost like a mandala that she destroyed. I mean, I, I know that's the wrong word for it. Uh, uh, sigil. Ah, I don't know what the right word for it is, but it, it seemed like some personal uh, protection thing you know, that she had drawn in the in the sand. I don't know. Um, and that it took destroying that to make all the chaos go away. As with the other ginger tracks I've heard, I enjoyed this immensely and the subject matter hits home for me um, because I am uh, an introvert and I do tend to self-isolate uh, to the point where I drive myself nuts and it uh, makes me do things like go, hey, I want to start a music review channel. I appreciate you spending this time with me and before I go, I just would like to ask that if you found Nemo Toadstool reacts to stuff more entertaining than any of the other drag out there, or if you just want to support the channel and what I'm doing, and then like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then ring my bell so I can notify you each and every time I release one of these reactions. I'm going to go for every day. It may take me a couple weeks to get there, but we're going to be trying to do these every single day so that when you uh, log on to YouTube, you've got a new reaction waiting for you, okay? So until next time, this is Nemo Toadstool saying be present and be well.